Well, what are pesticides? Uh, pesticides are a group of chemically diverse compounds which are classified according to their physical chemical properties or the pests that they control. The pesticides uh, include insecticides such as organophosphorus, organophosphorus pesticides, carbamates, organochlorine compounds, pyrethroids and biopesticides. Uh, likewise, sulfonylureas are herbicides, but we also have bactericides and rodenticides, etc. Rodenticides are not always included in the target list, but in some circumstances they can contaminate food commodities during storage. More than 1,000 pesticides have uh, been developed, and the detection and quantification and identification of large numbers of pesticides with such diversity of physical chemical properties is challenging and requires GCMS techniques in addition to LCMS. Pesticides are subject to uh, strict controls to ensure that they are used safely and effectively without harmful effects to humans, wildlife and the environment. Interna international standards are set for maximum residues uh, levels uh, or MRLs in food and feed. MRLs are set according to good agricultural practice and they are not safety levels. The levels are set at concentrations which are so low uh, that they will not cause um, concern. In the European Union, uh, the MRLs are set under regulation EC number 396-2005. MRLs are set for the vast majority of pesticide commodity combinations. Where the substantive MRLs are not available, uh, i.e. Uh, MRLs which are based on uh, field studies and on GAP, then normally the MRL defaults to a concentration of 10 ppb or 10 milligrams per kilogram. Consequently, there are uh, more than 100,000 uh, MRLs for different pesticide commodity combinations. Uh, in the uh, US of A, the EPA requires the amount of residue to be lower than the tolerance level, which is considered safe. Uh, legislation uh, is uh, not useful uh, without uh, a monitoring to ensure that the, uh, the legislation uh, is enforced and therefore uh, we undertake uh, the monitoring of pesticides to, uh, in the diet to check uh, that the residue levels do not affect consumer health but also that they do not uh, exceed legal trading levels. We also do this to check uh, for the use of unauthorized pesticides and there have been a few examples in the past, for example with uh, isofenfos uh, methyl, where unauthorized pesticides uh, have, have been used. In terms of the monitoring, then most of uh, the individual member states in Europe have their own uh, national plans, but all member states are also expected to contribute to the EU coordinated multi-annual control plan uh, which is uh, the requirements for which are set out in regulation number 788-2012. And this essentially um, requires that the laboratories or the member states uh, all uh, submit data for the same analysis of the same pesticides in the same commodities in order to create uh, a huge data set for um, specific commodity pesticide regulations and that information can then be used for uh, risk assessment. In addition to these uh, monitoring plans, there is another regulation, uh, EC 669-2009, which uh, sets out the need for increased import controls for products which are considered to be uh, um, high risk. So these are products of animal origin which have been identified uh, to contain high concentrations of pesticides through um, the rapid alert system within Europe or from uh, intelligence uh, from uh, laboratories or from audits. Um, the expectation is that the analysis of these uh, samples which are collected under this scheme will be very rapid and normally the results are expected uh, to be